good afternoon everyone good question neeraj you see our ca those who are going from india have expertise and this expertise you will find nowhere in the world i challenge the ca institute or our ca is the kind of intellectual they have it's a god gift so africa is a virgin market according to me and as my two previous speakers have also said that there is immense of opportunities so when you open a chapter when you are thinking of serving the 1.25 billion population we need plenty of such seeds to start their ventures in africa like you have your uganda chapter you have kenya chapter so you can give them hand holding support and you can encourage and motivate the other seeds also to open up in those countries and what we can do is there are private sector projects their government projects they are smes they are mnc we can take all consolidated which are viable which are not viable the cas can play an important role today what this arbitration or dispute which is happening between many of the countries so those can be overcome if these cas can play a very pivotal role an important role in identifying and outsourcing secondly the documentation what i have seen is when we are thinking in terms of arranging funds for any project the documentation and the explanation for those documentation there the ca can play an important role thank you yes advising advising thank you so this is weird so uh, now uh, you being as uh, secretary general of the indo african chamber of commerce um and uh, can you please briefly explain uh, you know how your function um, and how your members can take the advantage of the of the work uh, you do see we are one of the premier and apex chamber focusing on africa and our main objective is to create an awareness about the african continents to encourage and motivate the people of india to take them to africa because about africa there are a lot of illusions people are still thinking that africa is risky people are still thinking that it's a dark continent so we have to tell that look it is a big continent it's not one country it's 54 country you see 1.25 billion population you can imagine how big the opportunities are yet to explore we have not explored and it is obvious that it is an important region we cannot afford to take it lightly we have still taken it lightly as my previous successor has already spoken that see when we are thinking in terms of opportunity we are still on number 5 position we have america we have uk we have france we have china and india is still not taken africa that seriously what we were supposed to take so from this diasopara from this chamber we create a networking platform we are a voice of africa today trying them bringing them more closer to the indian business community and telling them in simplified manner see we are an advanced economy and they are developing economy so there is a gap and we are trying to bridge the gap taking our people to them simplifying the business trying to advise them how to cover the risk and open the platform for them and this is one of the biggest job the chamber is doing today Yeah, I think it's a lot of work uh, uh, by done by the chamber. I also request you to you know take the help of the our chapters because we you know largely support you know other people are there in the from chapter. Whenever you find any kind of uh, difficulty or any ties, the our chapter will be will be a uh, helpful for the India of the Indian tendency. So now coming to the uh, Satya Modi ji, he is a very senior uh, person and settled. Uh, in africa in nairobi so sir you spent i think uh, near about 45 years am i right satyam modi ji so are you there satyam modi ji yeah i'm the africa from india so uh, can you just uh, brief more detail on that you know the investment into the africa investment uh, africa to india so that you know our member can know about the you know opportunities are lies and where they can work on it Uh, thank you neeraj see so far as india is unmute yourself unmute yourself oh yeah sorry unmute uh, yourself so far as india is concerned we have extended uh, the line of credit through exim bank to almost all the african countries to the tune of about 110 billion dollar and so far as african countries are concerned the fdi flows uh, uh, to africa rose by 11% which is about 46 billion dollar in 
and there are number of factors like including the realization of african continental free trade zone agreement which support this flow like uh, for example egypt 6.8 billion dollar morocco 3.6 billion dollar country like sudan where we have political turmoil still it is 1 billion dollar increase tunisia increased by 12% and sub saharan africa is 32 billion dollar so in other word what africa needs africa need a constructive fdi they need job opportunity they need um, uh, tech savvy in education skill development they need low cost housing healthcare they need good infrastructure they need indian support to fulfill their dreams and what is india's value proposition that we are we have skills and we have good understanding and entrepreneur skill as well and what is our need our expectation we are also looking we have hunger of looking at good market now today africa is the only continent of the millennium where opportunity lies and that gives you high returns and that gives you growth opportunity immensely and we are looking for a base for globalization when we are thinking in terms of this as you can see that africa gdp remain constant according to the world bank out of 50 46 countries 15 countries of africa have impressive growth and improving their business environment so this is a high time for us as an indian to grab those opportunities we must not think more we should be very fast in acting and otherwise we will miss the boat so that is not you being a chartered accountant institute can play a pivotal role like we have your chapter in kenya you have in uganda you can be spokesperson of those local african you can be their voice because indian embassy has a limited role to play they have limited infrastructure you being a private sector you can take the lead you can put value addition identify their requirement since your institute and my institute have done an mou in the past we can help in identifying these opportunities and convert them into a reality in a deal and that is an important role which you and i can play thank you yeah, very 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 i agree you said right you know we definitely we have to find the opportunities now coming to the sanjay ji i think uh, uh, you being the the people's uh, indian business community telling them what africa is rather than talking about the technicalities of africa i keep on telling how safe africa is i keep on telling people that look i have gone to almost all the african countries like angola like south sudan even somalia and i have come back in one piece that itself is a live example how safe africa is so that is the first thing i start i also agree with rajesh ji that people around us they do not come to the right institute they go to some people they get uh, some illusion they get they are getting fascinated by some uh, wrong information but to my knowledge i am respected more in africa than in india i am mama africa for them and all those children they love me from the bottom of their heart as compared to <laughs> indian you know so my passion for africa i still would love for love to work for africa and see government brings the policy <coughs> for protecting africa government of india is very active and this government is in fact and we have all the indian ambassador in africa are more active there's a big responsibility on our shoulder but we expect some contribution from our indian business community i still feel that your institute or my institute we still have a big role to play he was talking about opening one year school uh, uh, training but i am telling have something here an africa cell in your headquarter i am prepared to come and devote my time and tell the people educated them that what africa is today africa offers excellent opportunity high rate of return even as compared to go to uk or going to usa or going to canada africa is the market of the millennium today manufacturing has started there is immense scope for local produce to make a local brands there are lot of african business people who have established in uk usa are coming back to africa and you will not believe you will be surprised to see more than uh, i would say 300 african companies have their turnover more than 1 billion dollar they are residing in africa so africa is no more a uh, oh, continent which is not developed 
people should take it seriously when they're thinking in terms of agriculture as an indian we can have enhancing business opportunity we have now the agriculture is going to be 1 trillion by 2030 and there is scope for crowd farming there is scope for food processing and africa is still importing the stuff to the tune of 30 billion dollar on food import so what we can do we can educate people about trading opportunity we can tell people when you're thinking in terms of joint venture people are thinking oh big investment you can start operation as an smb with 3000 dollar now when we're thinking in terms of opportunity agriculture uh, sector itself have 30.31.04 percent opportunities growth opportunity we're thinking in mining it is 28 percent it is thinking uh, oil and gas it is 18 percent when tourism of course because of covid has come down but 16.7 percent consume infrastructure is concerned 15.05 you can see from after this covid problem has started from month of june till date we have done about more than 39 webinars inviting the african ambassadors inviting the indian high commissioners inviting the success stories of indian business people in africa and educated the people we have kept it free for people anybody can come and they can join us my only apprehension is that we must take lot of efforts the private sector we have to engage ourselves in public private partnership we have to have good involvement uh, out of our busy schedule all of you are stakeholders if you can devote more time and educate our people not only the ca but the business community and it is essential for business community to act fast and what i would say that uh, we extend our whole hearted uh, support to them we become serious for africa not that the rejected consignment rejected from usa we will divert to africa we have to take africa seriously we have to have our own logistic <laughs> agreement uh, and arrangement we have to think of the pricing strategy people are telling oh banks in africa is not educated i am proud to tell you that till date without doing actual arbitration me as a capacity of secretary general have so settle the dispute out of arbitration 2837 2837 means i have devoted my entire life for that but 90% will ask me my opinion the mistake is from indian part we are very fast in signing agreement without evaluating what we are going to do signing agreement we get lot of uh, peace and satisfaction but working on those ground reality is always a big problem with indian so i feel that yes institution like yours government is doing their job but people like you and me have lot more to do and we have lot more to do thank you great now uh, you know very 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 uh, you know important uh, you know, message which you given uh, to the all indian community there are you know good opportunities the business are huge of potential now coming to the sanjay ji for their final word uh, you know for the advising to the all